had something interesting happen um, today. I used someone's music in uh, one of my other videos. And um, I've, I've, had, I've had people send me like original music. Uh, like I've had about three or four people send me music, you know. They, 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 just, they, they usually just like say, hey, check out my music. And I check it out and say, it's pretty cool. And they're like, would you like to use some for your videos? And I'm like, sure. So they like, or I'll, I'll request it sometimes too. And then they send me some. But sometimes I don't use the music right away. I just keep it. I actually have a file on my desktop called Original Music. Uh, you know, meaning that it's a copyright free. So then I keep the music on my desktop. And then when it, whenever I, I make a video where I need music, I'll try to use something. I, I prefer to use non-copyrighted music if I could. But it's not always uh, it's not always possible. Or it's not always the best option. But yeah, if I could use it, I would. So anyway, so I, I keep this music on my uh, desktop. And then uh, I used some of it in one of my recent videos, and uh, I forgot who gave me it. But I, I, I fully expected the guy to go send me a message saying, like, oh, thanks for using my music, and uh, could you mention my name in the description or something, you know, like that. And, I, and of course, I would. But I just forgot who sent me it, so I wasn't able to add his name myself. And let's go downtown. This is Taoyuan. This is Taoyuan Central. It's the next uh, city over. In general, it's a more known city than Zhongli, even though it's about the same size. I think it's pretty well known because, in general, when you leave the when you when you arrive in Taiwan, most people take a bus from the airport to Taoyuan, and then from here they would continue on to Taipei. So, if you've come, if you if you've been to Taiwan before, chances are you've been to this city, uh, but most likely just passing through. Anyways, um, yeah. So this guy, I used his music. And, uh, you know, I totally wanted to give him credit for it, but um, I just didn't remember his name. But I, I, I half expected him to send me a message telling me, oh, yeah, thanks for using my music, and could you mention my name? And I'd be like, sure, and I'd edit the thing. But instead, I get a message from him saying, like, if you're going to use my music, you can at least fucking tell me. And then he says, uh, you know, put it just, you know, you better add my name to the video, and if you don't, if you don't, uh, I'll post up your real name. Uh, I think what happened was I used my Hotmail account to send him a, a, an email and my Hotmail account has a first and last name for me and, it, and, it, and I think it would, for the email it would have said from and then, and then two names. Uh, but the funny thing is, is that the, names, the name that I use on Hotmail also isn't my real name. It's a real name like uh, Dave Brown or something like that, but it's, it's still not my name. Uh, so it's kind of funny. He's threatening me with telling everyone my real name when in actuality it's not. But that's not the point. The point is, is that his first reaction to seeing that I used one of his songs that he specifically gave me to use was threatening me because I didn't place up a link to his MySpace or whatever. So, I, would, I don't know. I feel bad, but like I said, I just, I just literally didn't know who the... I, I explained to him, I, you know, I, I, have, I have music from three, three or four different users and I don't... You guys don't write your names on the files, and I don't write your... Maybe I should. I, in future, I probably will. If someone sends me a file, I'll write their name beside it. But even if I got their name beside it, it doesn't necessarily mean I know their MySpace address by, mem by memorization or whatever. This guy's checking me out. If I was gay, I could probably pick up old men like him. No, it's just funny, you know. You, a lot of guys, they buy a, a motorcycle because, you know, one of the reasons has got to be, yeah, it'll make them cooler and they'll be able to, you know, meet more women. But in actuality, <laughs> there's been very, very few times in my life a motorcycle has helped me to meet women. There, there are a few, but they're, they're, they're far and few between. Uh, I remember one time, I went to a party, uh, and it was, uh, yeah, I just went to something, like a house party, and it was in an area that I don't normally go to, and uh, I'm not even sure if I knew who, who the guy who was hosting the party. It was so cool, because I, this was back in Canada, and I walk into the party, and I'm carrying my motorcycle helmet, and there's a good-looking woman, girl, and she looks at me and she's like, you got a motorcycle? And she's like, oh, you have to take me for a ride right now. Do you have an extra helmet? I'm like, yeah, I got one on the bike. She's like, yeah, we have to go for a ride. I'm like, okay, let's go. <laughs> so it was pretty cool. I just walked into the party. I'd been there for a whole, what, three seconds, and then I picked up a girl and took her back to my place. I mean, uh, took her for a nice tour of the city. Yeah, so this is Taoyuan, downtown area. 
And uh, other than that, not much. You know, like, um, I don't know, there'd be a few times when I was at the bar, and there'd be like, no, actually, there'd be girls that would like want rides for me, but there, in general, there were girls that are already friends with or acquaintances, acquaintances that'd be like, hey, you know, hey, Modek, can you take me, can you take me home on your bike? It's hot out or 